Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel, Savvy Beauty. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Helen and welcome. So today we're going to be doing the coolest thing ever. So obviously you saw in the, in the thumbnail, I had a Sephora bag. It is the first time I ever went to Sephora and I'm going to show you the things that I got. I know you guys are probably sick to death of me doing hauls, but this was a gift from a very good friend of mine. She, I, I helped her out when she really needed it and she felt like she had to repay um, my kindness uh, with a gift from Sephora, a few gifts from Sephora. She gave me a gift card and told me go ham in the store. So I did. And yeah, I just really want to share it with you guys because it's super special and it's very meaningful to me. Okay, so if you guys have not already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you want to know about when I'm putting up new videos, then go ahead and click that little bell icon down below. And YouTube's going to send you a notification every time I put up a new video. And last but not least, if you love Sephora, like I learned that I absolutely love Sephora, give this video a big old thumbs up and tell me, what's your favorite thing to get at Sephora? Like I, I'm new to Sephora, I'm a Sephora noob, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Just hang in. Okay, so again, I'm so excited. I, this was such an unexpected and amazing gift and I'm so thankful. Uh, my friend Kathy, hi Kathy, she, you know, wanted to treat me and she took me over to Sephora. She would not allow me to purchase budget-friendly makeup. She said that I deserved something high-end and, and beautiful, so I got something high, I got some things that are high-end and beautiful. I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys... I guess is this and this I grabbed by the checkout stand and I know that they say you know sort of stick away from the or stay away from things at the checkout stand at Sephora but I really wanted to try the Becca first light or backlight priming filter I've heard so much about this on YouTube and you know I didn't want to commit to a full-size bottle oh there's a little thing inside and you know, I really just wanted to try a small bottle, which I can see with the light is actually only filled up to here. That's kind of crappy. So <laughs> you do get half the fluid ounce in this, and this was $18. I'm not gonna swatch it for you because it's a primer. <laughs> like, I don't see the point in swatching primers. But yeah, so, so I'm super excited. This, again, is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Yay! I wish they had the first light priming filter as a sample size because they really was actually more interested in trying that. But um, I heard this is amazing as well, so I wanted to get this. The next thing that I got actually is from It Cosmetics. This is Bye Bye Pores in the pressed version. They did not have the um, loose version at my Sephora. Like it just, they were out of it. Wow, this is hard to get out. Oh, there we go. So this is just in translucent. I was really interested in getting something from my nose um, because I feel like it just doesn't look as good as I want it to. Let's just say that. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's a little compact and you've got a nice mirror in it. It does have another side and there's a little spongy in there, which I will probably never ever use and like I said this is translucent it's super super soft like I was I'm so amazed I did use it today because I couldn't wait <laughs> I wanted to show you I wanted to show you guys but I couldn't wait so this is uh, 0.31 ounces and again in translucent so this I really like this I really enjoy this this is this is great great oh my god great Okay, so the another thing that I did pick up was this pack from Benefit. This is Sunday My Prince Will Come, and it has some really cool items in it. Again, I didn't want to commit to purchasing full sizes of a lot of things because I wanted to try things so that I knew what I liked, and I thought that this was a really good value. This was, I think... Okay, so this was $32, and it's got this cute little bag. 
and it has a little card in here I think that just talks about like the products and stuff. I did open this, but I didn't really go through it. Yeah, so it talks about the products that are in here. And what came in here is actually dropping things. I can't not drop things. What comes in here is actually a mini high beam, a mini California blush, and their real tinted primer, and a mini gimme brow. So it comes really cutely wrapped in like this little paper. Let me just move this. So this is the mini high beam and this is 0.13 fluid ounces. And I don't actually own a cream highlight. So I'm really interested to see what this is like. There it is there. Wow, it's really, really pretty. So it's sort of blended out and you can sort of kind of see it. It just looks like it's more of a natural type glow on my skin, maybe because I'm so pale. <laughs> but that's the high beam. Then of course you get a mini a gimme, gimme, blah, 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 gimme brow and this is in shade number three. And you do get 0.03 ounces. Oh my God, does it ever open? Ugh. That has got to be the tiniest wand I have ever seen in my life. I guess it's really good for getting for doing your brows, though. Um, yeah, it looks like it should be an okay color for me. There, like I put a little bit on my hand. Then this is their real tinted primer. This is a, it says it's a mink brown tinted lash primer, and this is 0 0.1 ounce. Whoa. That is like the weirdest, like floppiest, do you see that? Floppiest little wand ever. Um, so that looks really awesome. And then the entire reason that I got this set is for the California blush. I didn't know if I was going to like this one. And it comes with a little mini mirror, which is super cute. And you do get the little brush. I didn't know, ooh, it smells beautiful. So I didn't know if I was going to like this or not, or if I was gonna like uh, Dandelion, but the girl at Sephora, who by the way, was so amazing, so nice, spent so much time with me, and you know, I was like, I don't know what to get. You please help me. Like, I just, I'm not sure what to do. Um, and I have to, we'll talk about the other thing in a minute, but she, this smells amazing. She was so helpful. She said that California was more popular in the store than Dandelion and that Dandelion was very um, sort of just light and more natural flush, but that this, that I might like this better. Um, and I trust her opinion. She was so nice to me. So I absolutely am so excited to get into this. Again, I think this is a perfect size for me. I am not going to go through blush that fast. So yeah, like so excited. So that's everything that comes in the little benefit bag, which I think this makeup bag is so cute, like so freaking cute. I like, this is just adorable. It's like a pink, gold, sparkly, like little bag. It's still pretty, I don't know. I guess you can kind of sort of see the sparkles a little bit, but it's so pretty. I'm so excited for these guys. So excited to try these. Okay, you guys. So we are on to the last two items from the haul. And these are heavy hitters. And I feel like almost like I'm gonna cry because I'm so excited um, because they're my first um, high-end purchases. I think the only thing I ever purchased high-end before was a very long time ago. I saved all my money for it and it was a Benefit Lemonade when that was like the only eye primer besides um, the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So for me, these are really truly my first high-end purchases and I like, I wanna cry because <laughs> I'm so grateful that I was given the gift to go to Sephora um, by my friend and 
it was so unexpected and so sweet and so kind and no one has really ever done that for me before um all right so let's just enough before i get like i start crying and my makeup starts running because you know oh look it already is okay so here it is i shouldn't even say it here she is i got the Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I, I have wanted this since I saw it, and I just want to say also thank you to Dramatic Mac. If you have not seen her channel, I will link it down below. She is the reason that I got this. I watched a video of hers, and she said pretty much exactly this. Um, if you're on the fence about what to buy when you go to Sephora, let me just give you that extra little push. What was that? Something just went flying across the floor. Um, she said, let me just give you that extra little push. Go and get this. So I did. And it's just, it's beautiful. Um, I love the packaging. It is like a velvet. It's just so gorgeous. I have not used the shadows. I'm afraid to use them I don't want to use them because I don't want it to go away but obviously that's the point of it so I will definitely be doing tutorials with this and let me show you I know everybody's seen this a bazillion times and I'm like the last loser to um, go out and get this but I don't I don't care so here it is here of the palette here are the colors why do I always go the wrong way here are the colors it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. My camera doesn't want to focus on anything but my face today. Um, so I am super excited to use this. I am like really excited by the colors. Um, Love Letter, um, Primavera. So this is, let me point them to you. So Love Letter is this guy right here. Primavera is this one it's like a beautiful gold um railgar that is beautiful as well this orangey color i'm super excited about that um yeah i'm just <laughs> crazy excited for the whole palette and it does come with a little brush which i think is actually kind of nice like it has a nice little fluffy crease type brush on one side and then it's got a more dense brush uh brush head on the other side so i'm super excited so get ready you guys because this it's common there will be tutorials there will be tutorials okay and then last but not least another heavy hitter i was able to get what else Doo -doo -doo -doo. the Too Faced sweet peach palette i was super on the fence about buying this um the girl at sephora convinced me that i needed it um as well as why did my light just go super dark okay i don't know what happened just there with the lighting but um so in addition to the modern renaissance she said that i needed the sweet peach so i did go ahead and i picked that up too i was i don't know it was like between this and getting one like the becca highlighters the new ones the light chaser and i was like oh I'll just get this <laughs> because oh there's a little card in there that just popped out I guess it tells you some looks oh my god I can smell the peaches already yeah so it has some little looks of different things that you can do with the palette a couple little looks that you can try I like to make up my own stuff and it's so cute. I love that it's in like a metal tin. I love the little embossed peaches. And it smells so good. I don't even care that I just covered my whole face up. Like, oh my gosh. I'm really surprised. I don't really like peaches. Like, I like the taste of peaches and I like real peaches. But I find that most... Um, peach flavored peach scented things kind of smell and taste fake this smells like a real peach to me like a for real d peach so this is the palette it is super super gorgeous i'm so excited 
so excited to use this. It's beautiful. I have to say that I think the colors that call to me the most in this palette are going to be probably this entire like corner over here. So bless her heart, which is this beautiful green, um, delectable, which is like a purple, this super dark uh, bluey purple talk derby to me, peach pit, Bellini, like these guys on this side are gorgeous. Just peachy as well is absolutely beautiful. I, I haven't even put my fingers in this. Again, it's something that I'm sort of like scared to touch because I don't want it to be gone, but of course I will be using it and you will be seeing tutorials most definitely. I know that there's a million out there, but most people like the warm colors that are very neutral and your girl over here likes the bright ass colors. So get ready to see some of these purples, these bright pinks, the green, get ready, honey, because they're coming your way. Um, so the only other thing was they gave me this cool little sample for a Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer, which I don't know why you need this gigantic card for this little tiny dot of product, but I guess to tell you all about it. So I'm interested to try this. I've not tried anything by Glam Glow. Oh, one other thing, I'm going to include this in here. I know that you can't get this at Sephora, but... My battle with the dark circles continues. I purchased the Tarte Shape Tape because I'm like, everybody tells me how, or everybody tells me, I watch all these videos and everyone's like, oh my God, it's the greatest, most heavy duty concealer in the world. And I was like, okay, I'm struggling with these dark circles, which you can see are still there after two layers of shape tape so please tell me when they're going to go away it's like dark circles a hundred million helen and concealer zero so i did get it it is probably the best coverage that i have i'm gonna try it with um a color corrector underneath i've tried color correctors with other concealers before that haven't worked out so great for me but I got the shade Thea, which is like the lightest shade that they have. And it's not too light on me because, you know, I'm a freaking ghost. So Casper, Casparella, your friendly neighborhood makeup person. I'm not an artist, not a makeup artist, makeup person, <laughs> makeup doer. Casparella, your friendly neighborhood makeup applier. Okay, you guys, that's it for this haul. I, again, I know you're sick and tired of seeing hauls, but the Sephora haul was just such an amazing gift for me to get. So thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, if you haven't already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you wanna know about when I'm putting up new videos, then go ahead and click that little bell icon down below and YouTube's gonna shoot you a notification when I put up a new video. And last but not least, if you liked the things I got at Sephora, please, you know, like give this video a huge thumbs up. Let me know what you guys like from Sephora. Like I dip my toes in the water of expensive makeup and now I want it all. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh my God, I'm too poor. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.